It is also created by an individual with minimum experience to modding, so any sort of feedback is highly appreciated. If this mod is seeing the light of day, it is likely that the creator finally did something with it and presented it to the public. <laughs> okay. Or it's been found by an unlucky soul. Hello. But all that can be said is, hope you can enjoy this experience. By playing Doki Doki Heartstruck, you agree that you have completed Doki Doki Literature Club and accept any spoilers contained within. Oh, that volume is going to have to come down too sweet. One day you will answer for your actions, huh? Okay, we're going to turn that down a bit. Um, hello, everybody. What it is, what it do. It's your boy, Jay Killen here. If you're watching this, that means I'm currently out of town at the moment. So I'm not going to be doing any live streaming for the foreseeable future. But that's okay, because I'm going to have these videos here to pass the time. And I hope you guys enjoy them, because it'll still be your boy. Make it the same kind of content you've come to know and love me for. Today here we are playing Doki Doki Heartstruck, which is a mod created by um, the Patat or General X. He seems to be a pretty cool, pretty cool dude, and I was pretty interested to see what um, his his mod was about. As you can clearly tell, this is a Natsuki focused mod, and the premise of this is, I believe, Natsuki is your long lost childhood best friend, and we have to reconnect with her after not being with her for so long. After we promised her, we would always be together. As friends, of course. Yeah, I got to know I got to know um, Patab because he has such nice things to say about Triple Trouble. So I wanted to see what his mod was all about in all fairness. So if you guys are excited to see what Heartstruck is all about, be sure to hit the like button and stay tuned for some Heartstruck goodness. If you're Natsuki fans, rejoice! For this should be a series that you should most definitely enjoy. So we're going to enter our name here, like we always do and proceed let me start with monica what what the where why am i still here just to suffer the files they feel oh what another one how many of these mods do you have too many i have too many Wait, are you there? Yo, what up, no? <laughs> well, what's going on this time? Is this supposed to be a mod? How do you remember anything? How do I... Huh, I guess I do remember a few things. That doesn't answer my question, Monica. But my memory is scattered. I only remember always being here whenever the code changes. But I am aware that I'm supposed to forget everything when the mod actually starts. Huh. Something must have prevented that from happening this time. My question is, how relevant is this to the story? That also means I know what, what comes next. I guess I'm supposed to ask if you want to continue with the mod or not. I don't know how I don't know how that makes sense, but I don't know how that makes sense either, Monica. But we're just gonna go along with it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. If I already know what, if I already know about what's happening right now, I know there's no point in protesting. I should come to terms with the fact that I'm just a piece of entertainment to you. Oh well, damn, girl! I... <laughs> don't gotta be all like that. It's funny, though. I know this is a mod, but I can't even look at what it is. For all I know, it could be about me. Spoiler alert, it, it, it's not about you. It's not. Sorry. Sorry, we're on your parade here, Monica. Is that selfish to assume? More so, hope, hopelessly optimistic of you to assume. Or just wishful thinking. 
Oh well. It's better than just staring at nothing. Would you like to launch this mod? Eh. <laughs> you know, Pata, I don't know why you're being so hard on yourself, Fig. Be, 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 a little, be a little more proud of the fact that you made this. But I'm just curious what happens if you say, eh. What? What else is there for you to do here? There's nothing here. I'm technically not here either. My Spritey isn't even here. Not until the mod launches properly anyway. What could you possibly even do here? I don't know, talk to you? you, you dis, the disembodied voice of you? If you're thinking you can get something out of me from this, you can forget it. Oh, shit. I already know I'm a monster. I already know I don't deserve to live. But if you're just sitting here thinking your presence is going to torment me, then I... Forget it. The only way to make these memories and you to go away is... Oh, so she just force starts the mod. She says, fuck you, you don't have a choice. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, Monica. Very cool. Very cool, Monica. I remember it all as clear as day. The day my life was at its worst with a mix of its best. Also, Patat, for the record, um, this version of its, both of these should not have apostrophes. Because that's a contractual form of it is. A distant memory that's so close it hurts. So now we officially start the game. I wasn't the most normal kid out there. I was what you'd call a freak. Or that's what everyone else called me anyway. I wasn't the best at making friends either because of that. Although I did try, it just wasn't that easy for me. At the park, or school, I was either pushed aside or avoided out of awkwardness. I don't know what this guy did to make everyone not like him so much. <laughs> aside from just existing. It's like, well, geez, I'm sorry that my existence is a burden to everybody else. In the best cases, I look at someone they walk away. At some point, comma, I believed it was a terrible superpower of mine or how quick I could push people away. I don't think you're pushing people away. I just think all these people you're meeting are just assholes. Everywhere I went, there would always be a judgmental eye staring at me from a distance, thinking about why I'm even here. I didn't even know what was wrong with me for people to be like that. I don't know either. So far we haven't been given a reason for people to be treating him like this. What, 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 is he like the only minority in a homogenous country or something? Like, does he have like a big tumor coming out of his head we don't know about? Does he only have like one eye? Does he have like three legs? What, what's the reason for everybody to treat him like this? I never knew it back then, but it was always because I never understood how to act around other people. I mumble, panic, or stop speaking entirely when I encounter someone. The more I did that, the more annoyed everyone else got. Okay, so you just have a mild case of social awkwardness. Okay, welcome welcome to current year, where a majority of people are socially awkward. <laughs> that 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 doesn't that doesn't mean people are gonna treat you like like fucking trash just because you don't really know how to talk to people, okay? Eventually, some kids started to think I was making fun of them. Or just found me creepy in general. How are you making fun of them? Did you have a stutter? Did you, did you start mumbling? Were, were they mumbling too? Were you also being around socially awkward people who do the same things you do? And that's basically when the bullying started. They start making faces or imitate my stuttering when they pretend to talk about me. Oh, talk to me, rather. 
Soon, they upped it by flat out hitting me or pushing me around. Jeez. In school, at the park. At the time, I didn't fight back because I thought things would blow over. But by the point I knew they wouldn't stop, I came to realize that I couldn't fight back even if I wanted to. I was weak. I don't know why I still kept going, going out. I had no choice with school, but why did I go to the park? I don't go outside, touch some grass, get some fresh air. Why go to the one place you know no one will ever accept you, where you'll get beat up? Actually, yeah, that's a good question. Why are you going to a place where people are just going to openly beat you up? Was I expecting things to change? Or get better? I still don't know. My parents would tell me everything would be alright. And that things would get better with time. That's that all I need is a little tolerance and some confidence. Like all parents would say. But I couldn't just look past all the things the other kids said to me. I couldn't just go on my days without thinking that something was wrong with me. That I'm not normal. Yo, know, I'm getting mad Latin Simone vibes from the gorillas right now. If you guys don't know that song, Latin Simone, there's an English and Spanish version of it. Go listen to it. It's a very good song. Both were very good songs, actually. I don't know why, but Dad would ignore everything I had to say about bullying that's that started over time. He'd push me to be more social, no matter how much it was affecting me. Okay, so apparently the world doesn't care about him. The school doesn't care about him. Even his own family doesn't care about him. What did this man? Do? What did this man do to deserve such a horrible fate? Did he? Did he kick puppies in his past life? Did did, I, did did he go? Did he go on massive like killing sprees? Did he run a cult in the past life or something? Like, what, what did this guy do to deserve such shitty circumstances just because he exists? And when he actually did acknowledge it, he encouraged me to fight back. But I could just never do it. At some point, comma, I just stopped talking about it. And stopped talking in general. Light nods or static stares were all that, that I was left with. I had come to accept the fact that this was my life. And at a very young age, too. But through all of that, I noticed something different. Or rather, someone. A little girl who was really silent and distant from others. Alright, guys, guys. I think... I'm not a betting man, but I think this is where Natsuki's going to show up. I knew her because she happened to be in the same class as me, usually labeled the quiet kid. Most of the time, you see her staying by herself and read comics away from everyone else. She was always around the scene whenever I was the punching bag for the day. She never said let alone did anything but watch me also Patat, for the record um i don't know if english is your first language or not but i'm just gonna say this right now um this is past tense of the word say and you use the present tense of the word do so you have the way you fix this sentence is you have to say let alone did because did is the past tense of do. If we're talking about events that occurred in the past, you need to make sure all of your tenses are where they're supposed to be in the sentence so things match. It was like she just hovered around me without my knowledge. She really just stood out from everyone. Well, she stood out from everyone because she stood, <laughs> she stood so close to you. But I did notice her. Even though I never found it in myself to talk or confront her about it. Until she did it herself. Okay then. 
So I find it's interesting because so far we're being told a narrative where a lot of it is left to interpretation and imagination. That's very, well, that's different from how I've seen things done in the past. Granted, this probably could be due to the limited experience the mod author has in creating assets and things like that. But so far, this is not a bad experience. Hey, kid, you awake back there. I snap back to reality. Up oh, the goes gravity. Up oh, the goes gravity. He's so mad. And jolt up from my seat. I look out the car window and see a familiar area. We are here. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. I step out of the car along with my two bags and walk up to his window. Oh, no worries, my boy. You look like you need some shot eye. Although I would encourage... Encourage leaving yourself so vulnerable in a taxi. Not them saying that would do something, but hey, word of advice. Uh, 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 thank you, come again. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. I appreciate you not mugging me. I quickly pay up and shake his hand before watching the cab drive down the road. He really was a nice old man. Who knew the airport was a total hour away? I guess that's why we'd always be in a rush for vacations. <sighs> After a breath of fresh air, I walk down the sidewalk and admire the view as I go along. Not much really changed, and I'm glad. I missed all of it. I try to ignore the struggle that the giant suitcase and bag are giving me by looking at the scenery that surrounds me. After a while of roaming around, I reached the place. Hey, old girl. Miss me. Now that I made a fool out of myself by talking to a house. Oh, I thought he was like talking to a dog or something. <laughs> I finally stepped through the gate and enter. Honey, I'm home. Walking down the hall, I enter the kitchen and check it out for a bit. Not an urgent matter, but I check the sink and lights, make sure they're all good before I actually settle down. I drop my bags onto the couch and stretch very dramatically to get those few pops out of my back. Yeah, I've been there before and ah, oh, that's a good feeling when you when you get the pops out just right. I, see, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And boy did that feel good. Before I could even sit down and properly welcome myself home, my phone starts buzzing. Mm, 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 mm. I pull it out. <laughs> oh my god! Keeping in my laughter, I pick up. I pick up. Hey, mom. Oh, Killen, how was the trip? Reach home yet? Mom, you literally called me the minute I stepped inside. Ha! I knew it. I playfully face palm at the memory. <laughs> The memory of a second ago. Ah. If my mom's senses still kick, I'll call you the moment you get home. Yeah, yeah, don't go braggy about it with everyone else. So, how's it feel? Still homie? Oh, yeah. I mainly got that old nostalgic smell in here that I could never describe to you. Although, now that I look at everything now with a fresh mind... We really do have a, a basic theme going on in here. Yeah, we have a basic theme going here, not because this is you know, just a very minimalistic, minimalist living room we have right here. No, that, that, that can't be it. What? You thought we'd actually turn the house into a bouncy castle like you always dreamed of? I never told you about that. Oh. Oh, whatever. And it's kind of hilarious how no one bought the place in all these years. Hey, that should be a good thing. It is for now. Hmm. I'm glad you got I'm glad you got home safely, hun. What about the luggage? Whew! That was a drag. Literally. Oh, uh, what a card. Good old good old knee slapper, this guy. I didn't even I know I own I didn't even know I owned this much stuff until I started packing. 
Oh, oh, hush up. We had a double when you were a baby. Oh, we had a double when you were a baby. Mom, please. Hehe. <laughs> All right, I'll let you off the hook. I'll let you off the baby stories for today. What about the flight? Any interesting people this time for some stories? Jeez, Bob, why? Are... <laughs> Bob, what's going on here? Other than a few whining children and a grumpy hostess, not much. Hostess, do you mean stewardess? Even though I haven't been back here in ages, our family is all over the nation when it comes to Dad's job. We'd be moving from place to place almost every five months. So I've grown to become a frequent flyer. Oh well, I'm sure you have more to t I'll show you a lot more to tell me soon. You have a lot of unpacking you do, young man. Don't remind me of the horror. Please. Call me soon. Will do. Love you. Love you too, sweetie. Mwah. Oh, and Killen. Hmm? As much as I enjoy beating around the bush, I'm going to say this now. Don't go completely out of your way to try and fix things. Misspelled completely, by the way. I know how much this means to you, but please, let time do its magic for now. What does that even mean? I mean, I'm guessing we're going to find out later, but I, d I literally don't understand what she meant by that. Yeah. Okay. All right, hun. I'll call you again at five. She hangs up. Well, all right then. After I end the call, I just sit there for a little while. Dropping my phone onto the table, I bury my face in my hands and let out a sigh. <sighs> How she managed to sound so happy with everything that's been going on. Granted, it's this positivity of hers that really reflects on me, but after the moment's pass after the moment passes, I feel hurt. There was a lot that happened just to get me here. And she did make sure I didn't leave on a sour note. But I wish she could have come I wish she could have come with me. I was happy that I got I was happy that I got to switch schools and get in one back in town, but it felt wrong for me to just leave her. Why did you have to change schools again? Was was there a particular reason? Did did something happen? Were were you not welcome back where your mom and stuff was? What why 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 are you back here? We we don't really have an answer to that question. Instead of going through the pain of taking my things upstairs, I unpacked on the sofa and took the essentials where they where they went. Not a bad idea, actually. I'll get to the rest more slowly. It's still a Wednesday, and I thought about starting school from tomorrow. Not the best idea, but I'm already starting a bit late. Well, I mean, to be fair, you just got here. So, I mean... <laughs> That's not really your fault, my guy. I don't even have a uniform. I should go buy one. But right now, I'm beat. I look down at my bed and then quickly jump into it like a kid and begin feeling it around. Yep. Still hits the spot. I start to think about what comes next. Uh, reminds me of the Hamilton song. One of the main reasons I wanted to come back here was because I just wanted to explore all those memories as the new me. But I also have to find her. And yet I'm scared of the thought about facing her after six years. It's only been... Okay, so wait, let me get this straight. You You decided to leave your mom and come back here Pretty much just to find Natsuki. And, well, granted, six years is a good bit of time to not talk to somebody, especially if 
you don't have like a phone number or any way to reach them. But I only six. But it seems like only six years. I he do made it feel like it was like ten or fifteen years since he last seen Natsuki. I'm wondering. I'm wondering how old he has to be now. I know mom just told me not to rush the idea, but it's kind of hard to not think about it. With a not so pleasant thought in mind, I slowly drift off to sleep, letting the weight of my eyelids take over. <laughs>